movies. And she already had the acceptance of the young generation. Um, so it seems like she's collecting other age groups as she gets older, which is making her even more popular and more respectable. She has a much broader fan base, which is now a couple generations of people who have grown up with her uh, and who maybe only have one Madonna album, maybe have the greatest hits or, or whatever, um, but still think well of her. This question, though, of how earnest it is and how much it is an act is actually also something that sort of works for it because people are intrigued, it's something that people argue over and it's hard to completely be sure, you know. I'm sure in some, in, in part of everything she does, I think she, she is still the little girl who wants attention. It's always been a love-hate relationship with her. It, go, it goes up and down, you know. Um, there's, she's always provoked incredibly strong reactions in people, positive or negative. She can portray herself any way she wants. She can portray herself as a mother, you know, and then, all right, how many 45-year-old mothers are there? There's a billion of them. She could sing lullabies, you know, and pull it off. So she can do whatever she wants and mold herself into anything. So I, there's no reason why she can't be 70 years old making records. Um, certainly, this is not my favorite Madonna period. You know, the floral print dresses and the children's book period, no. I prefer the brazen Amazon sex goddess throwing sexuality in your face phase of Madonna. What, I think what I really like about her is she just has been able to do whatever she wants. You know, she just, and I, I think that's, that's admirable and um, without really turning into a very weird person. It would be several more years till Madonna found the relationship to sustain her. She married the British Guy Ritchie in 2000, after the birth of their son, Rocco John Ritchie. Right now, I feel that she's in a slightly odd phase because people are a bit unused to or suspicious of the new child, you know, children's book author. People don't know what to make of that yet. It's just kind of dabbling in another field. There's some resentment of someone just kind of coming in and deciding because they're famous that they can write a children's book. Again, in terms of her and Kenny Knack for collaborators, she hired great illustrators. The books are really beautiful to look at, both of them that have come out so far. Perhaps for the first time, audiences are finding it harder to reconcile the different Madonnas. Or perhaps this is because she is still pushing boundaries. This time, it is as a 40-something mother come button-pushing sex symbol. And the more human she sort of becomes, you know, now she's a mother and she's married and she's writing children's books and all of these things, you know, the sort of more down-to-earth she is, the more extraordinary she becomes. Um, so it's like the idea of seeing her grocery shopping or the idea of seeing her pushing her child down the street is almost more fascinating than seeing her on a video. Living in London, Madonna released the irreverent Music in 2000 and the political American Life in 2002. I think that British people have um, an exceptionally sophisticated sense of humour and I, I appreciate that. Relatively speaking, her latest album has not fared so well. While some believe she is struggling for an identity at the moment, most agree that her iconic status is permanent. She's definitely one of the top entertainers of her generation, you know, of, of the last several decades. There's just no question about it. Out of maybe everyone besides Michael Jackson, she's kind of the ideal pop icon. She's, she's what made pop what it is. And in some ways, she defined pop more than pop defined her at the level of superstardom. She's an exceptional case. There, there aren't many people like her. Um, first of all, the fact that she's managed to sustain a career for 20 years now. 
artists. I'd say that certainly uh, most of the time that I've been writing, she's been about you know the most important sort of influential figure, um, certainly of the um, video age. And she's and she's made it fun to watch too. I mean, she is. I think even more than a musician or a dancer or whatever, she, she's an entertainer first and foremost. I mean, you can't even really talk about pop without talking about Madonna because she, they're kind of synonymous. She has created the, the, the finest collection of videos of any pop star since MTV started. You know, there's no danger of her disappearing. And she's an icon to other icons. Because she is looked up to by celebrities themselves. You know, she's somebody who celebrities aspire to be because she's had this incredible amount of control over her own career, her own music, and her own image. She, she's not just like an, an example of our modern obsession with celebrities, but she was one of the people who kind of founded the modern idea of a celebrity. And she's been able to recreate herself over and over and over again and um, never really fall because of it. And that is, you know, what I think all celebrities aspire to do.